on the 17th and 18th of May, we will have the Ghana CEO Summit here at Kempinski from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. each day. The theme for the summit is digital transformation, powering business and government to build post-pandemic economic resilience, private public sector dialogue. Our call to action this year as a Ghana CEO Summit and CEO Network is that there is a need for Ghana to have a digital economy act to serve as the main pivot to organize all the digitalization initiatives of the government. COVID-19 has irrevocably changed our world and companies now face an urgent choice. They either go digital or go bust. The digital dividend is gigantic, but the digital divide is very gaping, hence this theme. The acceleration of the impact of digitization could not have been orchestrated much better than this tragic event that killed many people, but at the same time laid bare the economic frailties and the advantages that digitization brings. I think it's a good time to have a clarion call to all chief executives, all thinkers, all policymakers, all lawmakers, captains of industry, religious leaders, and so on, to consider what the COVID has taught us, the impact on, on digitization, and how we, we can come together to fashion ideas, creative thinking, to reset our thinking and to advance the cause of not just Ghana, but also um, the private sector and, and, and uh, government and governance. The theme for this year's summit is an excellent one for this present time as we seek to reposition the economy on a path of recovery and sustainable growth post-COVID-19 pandemic. Over the past few years, the Bank of Ghana through carefully crafted strategies, has been implementing programs to transform the banking and payment system landscape from one dominated by cash to a cash-light environment. A key feature of the financial sector transformation project has been efforts being pushed to foster the promotion of digital financial services for an inclusive, efficient and convenient financial services industry. The digitalization, which is the key of the CEO summit, I think in the last five years, we have seen that Ghana government has really moved forward with Ghana's biggest medical drone delivery system, with the mobile money, the paperless port system, with the integrated immigration system, e-parliament, and a lot more. I am pleased that the State Interest and Governance Authority, SIGA, is partnering with the network to consolidate the, this phenomenal thoughts leadership platform. The CEO Summit therefore presents a platform where executives of those state agencies whose performance SIGA oversees, as well as their counterparts in the private sector, interact to exchange ideas to advance the cause of corporate Ghana and the state at large. The theme for this year's summit resonates and aligns with our quest to drive the President's post-pandemic economic recovery efforts. We now proceed to formally launch the Ghana CEO Summit, the fifth Ghana CEO Summit. So I will invite our chairman and then our special invited guests to do us the honors. Ladies and gentlemen, without much further um, ado, um, our chairperson, the Deputy Governor, the founder of the CEO Summit, representatives of CEDA, would like to declare the fifth Ghana CEO Summit duly launched.